He needs help. Give it to him. I promise you, I'll get you your wings. You'll have to help me, Officer Frank. Maybe you're helping me. Uh, that is a clip from the upcoming movie, Wish Man. It is about the life of Frank Shankwitz, the man who created Make-A-Wish Foundation. We are so excited and honored to have Frank in studio with us this well, morning. Thank you, morning. Ladies, and thank you for the yeah. invite. Well, Absolutely. what a, what an interesting journey. I couldn't stop watching that movie trailer, and, but this is your real life. This is our, and it was surreal watching, sitting on a set every day, watching this happen. And so many times I'm involved with the actors, and it dawns on me, wait a minute, this is me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and they're doing a great job. So for those of us who don't know how Make-A-Wish got started, tell us a little bit about that story. Oh, very briefly, uh, I was an Arizona Highway Patrol motorcycle officer in 1980. Uh, television show Chips was very popular yeah. in this time. Uh, the parents of a little boy named Chris, seven years old, have terminal leukemia, only a couple weeks to live. And they said, is there any way that he can meet a Highway Patrol officer? Because when he grows up, that's what he wants to be. Arizona Highway Patrol, with the permission of his mother, doctor, set up a special day where we picked him up in our state police helicopter, flew him to our headquarters building, and they had me standing by on my motorcycle. Because we had trained with California Highway Patrol. Our equipment was identical okay. at that time. So when he landed, he thought he was meeting oh. <laughs> either Poncho or John yeah, from that chips. television show. <laughs> So now to see what Make-A-Wish has grown into in every state and basically on a daily basis something is happening for a family. What does that feel like knowing that that was kind of the start of it? Well, yeah, and we, I had an idea and made it work, but it takes literally thousands of people because we're worldwide yeah. now to make this happen. And the most important thing is the volunteers. If we didn't have this staff of over 100,000 volunteers mm -hmm. worldwide, it could not happen. And I've met so many in this area that are wish granters, that are sponsors for Make-A-Wish Foundation. I spoke at the commencement uh, at college uh, last night, and people coming up lining and amaze me. I'm a wish child of graduates, and that's just getting ready to bring tears <laughs> in my yeah, eyes yeah. on that, that they had survived this illness. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about the book, because that's another local connection, published here by Titletown Publishing. Yes. What can we find in the book? The real story. Yeah. <laughs> Hollywood embellishes a little bit. Sure. When you go to a movie and say, based on a true story, it's not the true story. <laughs> it's based on this. But this is whole adventures. <laughs> it's mainly about the people in my life that, that gave me the character, the integrity, work ethic, and so on, that helped me so much mm -hmm. and, and brought me to where I could meet this little boy and get this idea. And you're giving a couple talks in Green Bay. What can people expect from those? We're going we're gonna to get in depth about how all of this happened and the life story, kind of synopsis of the book. But the whole message that we're doing here is how everybody can be a hero, mm -hmm. how to please give back to your community. It doesn't have to be finances. It can be your time, yeah. your volunteering time. Just give back. Help somebody out. Wow. It was a real honor to sit here with you, Frank. Thank you for everything you've done and everything you've done for kids around the world. Um, just appreciate you being here today. Well, thank you, ladies. I appreciate it. I love that. The tip of the hat. <laughs> Cowboy here. All right. You'll have to watch for Wish Man coming to theaters. You can purchase the book now wherever you like to buy your books. But hear from Frank. Tonight at Old St. Joe's Church at St. Norbert College, Faith in Action, a Reflection on Servant Leadership is at 7 o'clock. And then tomorrow, Kindness, Close Calls, and the Magic of Making Wishes Come True. That's 7 p.m. at St. Norbert's Walter Theater. All of these events are free and open to the public. Come meet Frank and welcome him to the area. Thanks so much. Thank you. You're good, lady.